Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 116 of my Dire Wolf 21.18 Let's Play <laughs> today. We're up here at the sheep farm. I got it all finished. Um, <laughs> on me, functionally, it's finished. Um, I got a little um, charging station set up for him, so now I don't have to come up here and stuff charcoal in it or anything. And I got it set up to where it'll shut off automatically uh, when he doesn't need it. <laughs> and it's just been uh, it's been going good. I got a little stuff in my pockets. So, <laughs> I don't know if you just saw that. Um, I have this problem. Um, I've been trying to... Okay, so here's my thought process. I got the new Colosseum built. And I have plans for this. But uh, the first step is to get some shielding around it. Um... Well, there are several things that I wanted. Uh, one thing is I want mana over there because I want to be able to uh, not only damage the mobs, but also heal myself because I need help. <laughs> In combat, I need help. So uh, that's one of the things. I want to contain the mobs and I want to harm them and I want to heal myself. So... I need shielding and I need mana. Well, I've been taking steps these last few days to prepare for um, <laughs> for all the stuff. Here you go, buddy. Ah, back away. Okay, so <laughs> uh, one of the ways that I want to produce mana is um, with experience. Like... I had a mob system set up and I had so much experience that was just not getting used. So I want to use, utilize that. So I set up a mob system. Uh, this is just a crusher. And <laughs> I didn't know this, but you can suck up fluids and items with the same import bus. So you don't have to, like in... In refined storage, you can't do that. You you have to specify either this import bus does items or it does fluids. You can't have one that does both. Uh, but I hooked this import bus up and it sucked all the items and the fluid out, all the XP. Uh, so if we look here. Um, oh, it's. It's essence, essence, essence. So I have a bunch of essence being stored, um, which is cool. Uh, I think I set it up as uh, experience. I set up a black hole device and I think I put it for XP, liquid XP, not mob essence. So, ooh, that is no good. Ah, the wrong way. No, it, I don't know why it's not getting stored inside my black hole unit. Got it set to priority a thousand, and I went over here to <laughs> to my disk drive, and I put it at priority negative ten. So this is the only place it has to store fluids. So I don't I don't get why. Maybe I need to specify. Oh, if I do that, will it? only store essence then because I have a bunch of other stuff in here. I 
I don't know. I will figure that out. <laughs> but I have done a lot of work in here. I'm really liking the, the green and the gold. Uh, I was going to use copper, uh, but gold is a much better semiconductor than copper is. So I figured I would use gold. And I had a lot of gold, so let me check it out. Gold. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I need to do something about this. All this stuff is uh, clogging up my inventory. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I have over 200,000 gold after using up all this gold uh, so far. <laughs> um, check it out. Another thing that I need to do is I need to get... Uh, to get my system over there check it out i made this little <laughs> these are my um quantum quantum ring housing unit thing in the bobber uh so i can just come in build it and boop it's ready to go and it looks kind of okay um <laughs> i can uh, what i like about the quantum rings over the way refined storage does it, it's it's a little bit, it seems like it's a little bit easier to set up the refined storage because, you know, you don't have to do the uh, singularities or anything, but I feel like it's harder to do the refined storage because you have to uh, label it, you know, or something. If, if you want to go and move your setup like two blocks or 20 blocks you have to go back to uh your transmitter grab the card run back over there slap the card on it and then take it back and move it back and to and then it's set up with this you just move it and it works because what's binding them is the singularity. So as long as you have the proper singularity, you can move it however often you want and you don't have to reset it up because it's already uh, it's already entangled. <laughs> so yeah, um, I was having a heyday yesterday trying to set up all of my reactors. Uh, it, it, it was challenging to find out that uh, AE2 will not directly input or output from the fluid ports. Uh, the item ports work just fine. So I'm really happy that this works because, <laughs> uh, I mean, if it didn't, I could have gotten around it, but this works, it puts the items in no problem, and it takes out the cyanide. Uh, so that's not an issue, but uh, it would not take water or steam in or out of the reactor. <laughs> I'm not saying that AE2 wouldn't handle the steam or the water, because it will. It just wouldn't interact with... Uh, with the reactor <laughs> so like i put a little one pipe and then put a tank and i could hook ae2 up to the tank and it could pull in liquids uh, the water the steam just fine uh, so i did it like that um and then i realized once i started setting <laughs> the reactor up and got a turbine going that uh, AE2 is not fast enough to pull, to handle that much, even with uh, full-on acceleration cards, it would not pump it out fast enough to even support one turbine. <laughs> uh, it, it wouldn't even let the reactor run uh, because it would fill up with steam and the steam was being pumped out so slowly that the reactor was shutting off and on, off and on. 
because it would fill up the AE2 system would suck a little bit out and then it would fill up again and shut off. So I had to just bite it and run the, run the, uh, the mechanism pipes all around. Uh, I, I do like it that uh, I built up the floor a couple uh, so that <laughs> it, it doesn't look as bad to run all this cable around to all this stuff. Uh, have it coming off at each side and then going down boop, all the way over to here uh, and it seems to be working out fairly well except for a few of my reactors are not running at full or at least they weren't yesterday maybe it's settled down now Aha, see here's one I don't know why if this one's at 1331 millibuckets a tick but it's only producing 1500 rpm it's engaged uh i don't i haven't touched any of these guys <laughs> it's got full vapor um the coolant is empty but the rotor speed is only 1543 uh so i don't know what to do about that? A couple of them are like that. Um, it's one. Aha, here's number two. It's only doing 1400. Uh, again, I haven't messed with anything. Uh, so I don't, I mean, it doesn't appear to be anything wrong with it here's another one that's three of them that are doing that so four of them one third one third of actually one quarter uh, one quarter of them are not producing even though they have full steam and zero coolant and they're all at the same flow rate uh, so I don't know uh, I, I didn't actually build these from scratch so maybe it's because of the way I had to tear down the bottom part and then extend it to the top so uh, I might just have to like tear the ones that aren't working <laughs> uh, all the way down and then rebuilding them to see if, if that helps. Um, but anyway, this isn't why I have you here today. <laughs> um, let's see. I want to set up some automations for uh, getting things rolling over in... Uh, the Colosseum. So I do need to get some of the, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> um, let's look under quantum. Oh yeah, see, so we're going to need like um, 16 of these. I had no, <laughs> that was the wrong thing. Uh, oops. And then two of those and I will I will hook these up in between episodes and get the quantum entangled singularities for it uh, I do believe it was just some TNT the singularity and like I think it was an ender eye was it an ender eye ender dust it was ender dust I was wrong about that uh, so while well I was gonna say while that's making I'll do something else but then I'd probably forget about it but anyway um So there's this thing in RF tools called, 
shield. I don't know. Uh, let's see, shield. Here we go. Um, there are different tiers in. Um, and I know it, the tiers limited. And if you see that supported blocks are 32,768. 4,000. So yeah, I'm definitely probably going to need the tier 4. And I'm not sure if that's going to be enough because I, the area I want is so big. <laughs> so... Let's go ahead and program this. Ooh, I think I already have the machine frame, but this machine frame might be over in the other system in the refined storage system. So probably, uh, let's do this, uh, this. Oh, it has to be die, doesn't it? Oh. So let's do this. Uh, let's teach it how to make die. Yeah. Sounds like a good idea. Um, I think if I put the recipe in there, It may uh, recognize that as something that I will use and it'll give me those um, the recipe. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's cool. Um, so there's, oh wait, was did I make? Oh, yeah, that was the machine frame, gotcha. Now we need this guy. We already have redstone torches in there. And then we need the tier two, and it takes tier one. Ooh, I don't know if I have a redstone block in there. Yes, I do. Okay. 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 Uh, so then that's all we need. Uh, this one, ooh, dimensional shards. Uh, not sure that I have any dimensional shards. Uh, Yeah, I don't have any over here. Did I get that dimensional shard? Yes. All right, let's make the fourth one. Ooh, this one takes uh, nether stars. I have a couple. So that's good. That's good, that's good, that's good. It's him. Oh, Flux Pearl. There we go. Um, how about let's check on our uh, quantum. quantum. There we go. And uh, of course, we're going to need these things. Um, and here's my thoughts. I want two different shield templates. Uh, one, I want to act as the floor. Uh, which I want it to be solid. And then the other I want to act as uh, the roof. Actually, I might be able to do the walls as solid too and just go straight up if I need to, <laughs> to leave. <laughs> or I don't know. Uh, we'll see. But I need two of these. And what is this? Oh my goodness. This tastes wool. 
<laughs> oh boy. Um, oh, I wanted to set up the recipe, not, uh, there we go. Oh boy. So, ooh, do I have red dye? Do I did get the mob system back up, so I should be getting dye. Oh, I don't have red dye. Uh, maybe I just don't have it in there. Uh, so dye. Aha! I do have red dye. Take all of that. There we go. Uh, I think I have everything else. I'm so happy to be getting green dye in, let me tell you, because I ran out and I don't have a cactus farm or anything, so. <laughs> um, Yikes. Well, this is unfortunate that it takes wool to make those because I've been using all my wool uh, already. I mean, it's been going for a while, uh, but I did just, uh, I didn't play that much yesterday and I did just log on and get get him up and going. So he should be constantly producing us wool now, which is good. <laughs> uh, but I was really hoping to get this done as quickly as possible. But this is going to make it take uh, much longer, especially since I'm still, I'm still rewiring this place. I do have like most of the bottom three floors done. Um, most of it, but not all of it. <laughs> it's not quite. So, yeah. I'm still um, using all my wool to make the cables. <clears throat> so, but I might, I might divert it away because this is functioning right now. I might divert it away and to start, um, you know, getting the stuff and things put together. Uh, so I was hoping to to get that going today, um, but I didn't know that it took so much wool. So, hmm. Plus, I haven't actually measured. Uh, the area to see if this is will even support it. I might have to do a much smaller area than what I thought I was initially going to be able to do, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, we got some of the foundations going uh, to move forward with some of it. Uh, maybe Let's make an ender dust and, and just go set this up. Kind of scope it out, I guess. What am I looking at you for? Uh, yeah, I just want to throw you. Oh, oh, you can't. Uh, wait a minute. Ah. Excellent, excellent. Luckily, why were you so slow? with taking things out. It's upgraded. <gasps> Look at that. He has no acceleration cards. What was I thinking? <laughs> oh my goodness. Do you not have? Oh. This one doesn't have acceleration cards. Like, I don't know what's up with that, but okay. Problem solved. 
I was able to get my dots though. So. I think I have some more TNT. I keep getting them from uh, the mob system. I should start getting them now. So I need the singularity. I still haven't turned that system back on. I do have uh, enough cobble where I could probably turn it back on. I have a a level emitter um, active without a signal. So all I have to do is put some cobble in here. And it should start sending it in to create another singularity. Um, is it going? Yes. Okay. So, but <laughs> I've got a level emitter that should shut off once there's 10. So as long as there's 10 singularities, it should not gobble up all of my cobble. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Um, where do we want to do? Oh, I need a lever too. Lever. Got one. Awesome. Okay. Um, let us go. Let's go out here <laughs> to the crude oil. <clears throat> Let's let it load for a second. Awesome. Okay. Let's just put them down here. Oh, I need to get my magnet off so I don't... Uh, accidentally suck these things back up into my inventory. Ah! Run away! Free sand! <laughs> See? I knew there was a reason why I came out here. And we got these. Hey! Take that. I, I want your phantom membranes too. And I forgot I don't have my <laughs> magnet on. There we go. Easy peasy. Ah, why can I fly? fly awesome so now i can set this guy up point and then we throw him in here <clears throat> sweet and now oh dude i totally need to get a teleporter to put over at the coliseum Oh, there you are. Do I even have a teleporter? Recipe? No, I don't. Let's do that. Ooh. Teleporter. Uh -huh. We probably will need this teleportation core. Is there anything else? I think we might have the steel casing. Yes, we do. Okay. No problem. Oh. 
Oh, I'm missing steel. Oh, because I didn't make them uh, to where they could use. I don't know why they can't use these because I have those on. Oh, dang it. I haven't set that up again. I know, I'm cheating. Shh. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> All right, while we're here, let's get a point to power, uh, to power our little teleporter and sleep so I don't get ganked. Uh, Oh, man, <laughs> I've got to fix this too. I keep uh, running out of, <laughs> I keep running out of saplings because uh, I have this totally wired up with the, the, our, the refined storage system, but it's everything's being sent to uh, my new base. So it's running out of saplings. Uh, so I need to I need to get that to where it can uh, draw saplings from the new place. And dun, 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 dun. where do I want to set this guy up at? Um, I would like it to be a central location. Be here uh, because um, you know this is where all of the wires are going to be coming out of and a boom. Um, now I should be able to. to uh, Oh, I forgot. I have my cables on me. I played with them so much, and I just, I just want to verify. Uh, crafting terminal. Do you have a crafting terminal? Crafting terminal. Here we go. There. I just want to verify that it is, oh, it doesn't look like it's powered. Um, let's go check out the fission reactor. Uh, how did I set this guy up? Oh, I had to I had to place an energy acceptor on there to give it power. Okay. We can do that. I may need to autocraft this if it's going to be something I need. Uh, we're also going to need Hmm, maybe I won't need it. Let's go try it out. Uh, oh, <laughs> I gotta fly. I gotta fly over there. I gotta do things the old-fashioned way. Because I haven't set up my teleporter yet. Um, control. Oh, super speedy. I forget uh, about the control. Because... Normally in vanilla Minecraft, I don't, I don't have um, the ability to fly. I don't play in creative a lot. So let's put the point here. Then we can 
run a few cables. Ah, no. There we go. Oh, I don't want this one here. There. Now we just took this guy up. And we can call this All of see there. Now, oh yeah, it looks lit up now. Uh, so yeah, we can get all our stuff from here. Oh, <laughs> I love this. Um, that is great. So now we can start um, pulling out things like uh, essence from <laughs> essence from the system and turning it into mana. I don't know that I want to do that here, but maybe maybe turn it into mana here. Um, why? And this is what I was thinking of. Um, Britannia has lots of cool flowers, and normally uh, in Britannia, I would build one of those cool passive flower generators. Just huge monstrosity, uh, but I would make it look really cool. But Britannia removed, well, they didn't remove the passive flowers, they just made them decay. Uh, so I haven't really done anything other than like charcoal <laughs> for mana regeneration. So I thought this would be super cool. Well, I mean, I've also done like uh, the much do's that chew the leaves to get mana, but that's normally just to help supplement a tree farm. So uh, I thought it would be cool to turn experience into mana uh, with Kenya. Um, I think where are the functional flowers? I think this is the functional flowers. These are the mana regeneration. Here's the hydrangeas. Those used to be my favorite. I love them, but, um, the thermal lily uses lava, uh, which is cool. If you have a nice way to uh, generate lava without much resources, you can use it to create mana. Uh, but the only thing is that flower does consume the mana since you can't have like an infinite lava source. Uh, well, I guess you can, but um, here's the Rosa Arcana. This is the one um, I believe that uses experience to turn it into mana. That's the one. Uh, the Munchdu, the Entropinium. Uh, this one, I think, is Explosion. Handle with care. Uh, the Kekamurus, you eat cake. Gormorillus is just food. Narslimus. Uh, I think it, it... It has something to do with slimes. I'm not sure if it's generating slimes or if they... This might be something interesting. If it's slime ball activated, this is something we can do. <laughs> Let me tell you, especially because... We're getting two different slime balls from the mob system. Uh, in the old system, I have uh, many, many slime balls. I can't show you because I'm not hooked up to it. 
but just from having the mob system on for less than a day i have um, almost 40,000 slime balls and then almost 20,000 sky slime balls so if we could turn those into mana i would be set for real <laughs> so i might look into that too uh to generate mana that would be kind of cool is something that i've already did i did i get this centered Oh yeah, I think I did. Two, three. Uh oh, there is no center. <laughs> There's two for the center. I should have turned it sideways. That's okay. It'll be all right. <laughs> um. Anyway, I've gone over on my time. I'm gonna be uh, working on this. I I just have to. It's gonna take time to get all that wool. Oh my goodness, I, I will probably start trying to uh, convert some of my experience into mana and start getting mana stored up in here. I thought maybe I could just have uh, mana pools lining the whole outside of this building or the inside of it, the inside, the outside of the inside. <laughs> and and just fill them all have a huge mana battery uh to fill them for when i need to come over here and do battle and fight some some dudes yeah i guess i'm gonna have to calculate uh how far up i want the cage to go like i was thinking maybe as tall as this at least uh, to give me plenty of room in there to to encapsulate everything <laughs> oh oh no um i just thought of something with that block limit and the fact that Jake Mo told me that uh, because of the special mobs uh, in this mod pack that that you have to double up on the shielding uh, so that if they accidentally break a block in the shielding it won't break the rest of your stuff <laughs> and then make all of your blocks just be blocks instead of shielding so um, yeah i might have to go with a smaller area i don't know um i will see <laughs> anyway i'm gonna go ahead and call the episode here i have my ultra vision on how am i turning that on i keep does it have a hot key or something whoa dude where did you come from helmet option no that doesn't do that <coughs> Why didn't he, like, hit me? It looks like he's trying to hit me, but I don't hear him hitting me. Are, are you able to hit me? Why can't they hit me? I don't... They're not touching me. Why are you not touchy? Well, I don't like it that you touch me, but I just think it's odd that you're not touching me. Huh. That's crazy. Also, I just thought I would do something really evil. Um, <laughs> instead of... Uh, putting projectile harm on there, I thought maybe I could see if I could self-heal. That would be crazy if every time I shot my bow, I would heal myself. So, go away. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!